Our next guest received a big endorsement from President Trump. Here's the tweet. He said, this is the president, California finally deserves a great governor, one who understands borders, crime, and lowering taxes. John Cox is the man. He'll be the best governor you've ever had. I fully endorse John Cox for governor and look forward to working with him to make California great again. Well, John Cox is with us, Republican gubernatorial candidate. John, do you think that an endorsement like that from the president works in your favor in a state where Mr. Trump is not popular? Absolutely, uh, Stuart, and, and thanks for having me on. Sure. The reason is what you said earlier with Britt uh, Hume uh, in, your, in your segment. The president is getting results and the people are starting to really pay attention. The opposite is true in California, and that is the people are noticing that the president's doing well, but they're also noticing that the Democrats and Gavin Newsom in Sacramento are destroying the opportunity for a decent life in California. People can't afford a house. They can't afford gasoline. Uh, they can't afford electricity. Uh, the roads are a mess. The schools are a mess. And they want results, just like President Trump has delivered for the whole nation. People in California are really clamoring for those kinds of results, and they want a business approach just like the president is using. Now, is gas, because Governor Brown, Democrat, imposed a higher gas tax last year, yeah. and now yeah. you guys in California, you're paying 80 cents more per gallon than the average for the rest of the nation. And it's four bucks in Los Angeles. Yes. Is that your big deal? Is that the big issue that uh, goes across the aisle and brings support to you from maybe some Democrats? Absolutely. I'm the leader of the gas tax repeal effort with a lot of other people here. And, and the people of this state have to move farther and farther away from their work to be able to afford a house. And then they hit them with this gas tax, which, as you said, is driving gasoline into the stratosphere. I mean, it's going to be $5 a gallon before people know it, Stuart. Uh, that is really a regressive tax. It's crippling working people who, let's face it, are really having a struggle as it is now with the way that the Democrats and the special interests in Sacramento keep pounding them into poverty. You know, this state has 20 percent of its people in poverty, the most in the nation, Stuart. Yep. This is the golden state. It's horrendous. I want you to look at uh, a headline. This is from Libby Schaaf. This is in the Washington Post. It's from an article written by Libby Schaaf, the mayor of Oakland. Quote, yeah. no, Mr. President, I am not obstructing justice. Now, the president wanted the Justice Department to investigate her for warning illegals of ICE raids. What do you think is Libby Schaaf's standing it, it, throughout California taking a stand like that? You know, I read that article, Stuart, and my only thought was that she's shoveling a lot of horse manure onto the uh, issue here because she's talking about, oh, we need to give opportunity to people and all this kind of thing. When really the raids that they were talking about, that ICE was talking about doing, was going after criminals. They were going after MS-13 members. They were going after people that threatened people. Now, let me tell you, I don't believe that all people here are committing crimes. But even if it's a small number, Stuart, that threatens the safety and security of the, of the people of this uh, state, as well as the people of the city of Oakland, uh, which has still seen a, quite a bit of crime. And the opportunity that she's talking about has been totally uh, limited by the actions of her party in Sacramento, which has driven up the cost of living, has made small business almost impossible to start. And, and they, they need to take responsibility for those actions, uh, Stuart. And that article was all about uh, diffusing the issue and making it seem like uh, it was just pulling grandmothers out of their homes. That raid that ICE was doing in uh, Oakland was all about going after criminals. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that sanctuary state policy. Well, John Cox, thank you very much for joining us again today, sir. We appreciate it. And we'll look thank forward you. to those primary results two weeks from tomorrow. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Thank okay. you.